Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Um, yeah, risk management is one of the most important principles we teach here at MCO. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set a stop loss and a take profit order on Bybit Futures. We're going to use the market order function in this video. Um, and I'm using Bybit as an example exchange because it's also the platform I personally use. A lot of people are currently coming into the space. Um, so it's important to, to, I think, to believe everybody needs to understand this to teach this is very very important well i'm here on the future so in the future section on bybit so when you struggle to find it you have to go into that kind of top row here trade futures and then you go to the perpetuals i'm here currently looking at the btc usdt perpetual futures uh dashboard contract yeah and well Currently, price is trading around $113,422. On the right-hand side, you see the option, the dashboard to place orders. So if I want to place an order, let's say I want to place a buy order, I have to select first of all, right, what is the quantity? So here you can slide this and you can select actually the value. And I mean, we'll just we'll just go with uh, a small one here for, for the example. So let's say I'm going to open here a futures market long order with the value of $113. Then I can select that easily here. You can also here type it in. Um, and then you could, you could just open a long order, right? I could just do this, but I wouldn't have a stop loss. Yeah, and st setting a stop loss, especially when it comes to futures, is so important. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not going to talk about margin or anything. We can do that in other videos. Uh, but either way, even if you have margin selected, yeah, um, or leverage, if you have leverage selected, um, it doesn't make a difference. You still need a stop loss, right? You don't want to be, you don't want to be um, liquidated, right? You you have to have a stop loss. You have to know your risk before you open a trade. Yeah, make sure you calculate your reward and risk ratio, and use normally a recommended at least two to one, so that you can let's say, be successful and make profit long term, even with only a 40 to 50% win rate. Now, better even if you have a reward to risk ratio of three to one or higher. But anyway, this is just to show you how to set a stop loss. So you click TPSL. This is where you can select where you want to take profit and where you can uh, get out of the trade, right? Where the market will basically close your trade. And you have to select a technical level. Now, I'm just going to use any level here for, it doesn't matter which one it is. Uh, this is really just to show you the mechanics. But technically, you would use maybe a previous swing low. So I could use here the last swing low at around $112,250. So we'll set it just below that. Important is it always needs to be some kind of a technical level that aligns with your trading plan where you set the stop loss. So that would be my stop loss if I want to go long. And then take profit could also be just below a technical level because sometimes the price doesn't quite get there maybe. Again, it could be a previous swing high. For example, here, $116,700. So I set it yeah, just below that. And then you can already see here ROI 2.83%. Uh, that would be your expected profit. And then expected loss is minus 1.9%. Um, that's not ideal. Ideally, I would like to have a little bit more profit compared to the potential loss. So again, it all comes down to the reward to risk ratio. Um, but again, that is just here how you how you see it visualized. Please make sure that you always aim for a two to one reward to risk ratio. At least it is recommended. Okay, and and basically that is it. On in the futures dashboard, they make it very easy for you to open a trade and then also to set a stop loss. Now, this is a long trade, so I can open the long trade here now. And, and you can read through everything. Yeah, you can see everything. And uh, you can make sure that you're happy with all of this. It also shows you your es estimated liquidation price, leverage. You can double check that. Sometimes you forget to set it to 1 or 5 or 10, whatever you want. And um, here you can double check that, right? And so um, I, I would not... Some people say do not show confirmation windows anymore or the, the confirmation window anymore. I would always have it set because you want to double check what you're doing. Double check it, you know, it can it can prevent you from making errors and then confirm. And then you will see it here in open positions, right? So this is now the trade that's open. You can see everything here. And 
is running. So you can see your stop loss, you can see your take profit, you can even adjust it, which is very handy. So you don't need to type it again, you can just adjust it, right? I would never, I would never recommend you adjust your stop loss further into risk unless you really set it wrong and you know what you're doing. But instead, touching your stop loss, yeah, moving it into risk, <laughs> into risk when you're in a trade, dangerous, yeah, dangerous. You can, of course, set your take profit, but actually, when you enter a trade, you want to have all of these things determined before you enter a trade. Because when you enter it in the, in the trade, then you're going to get emotional. Now, okay, let's say, whatever, you want to close it. I need to show you that as well. Then you just go to close by and you can select limit order or market order. The fastest way to close is through market order. Go confirm and that's it. Now, I also will show you how you can um, open a short and set the stop loss for shorting the same thing it just goes the other way around again i have to select here uh the the, the volume uh, the quantity the value and i will again select take profit um and a stop loss but i will open a short so my stop loss would be um obviously above the current price so it would be above the last swing high for example uh, again these are just you know just example values for now right Hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred. And then um, the take profit would be yeah, would be below somewhere. Um, let's let's just say here, yeah, hundred seven thousand five hundred. And again, you see the ROI, expected profit, expected loss. This seems like a decent reward to risk ratio. I open a short. It's the same thing. Market sell order. Yeah, uh, it will be executed immediately. That's what the market orders are for. Shows you your liquidation price, leverage, and so on, and confirm. And then again, same thing. You see it down here, and uh, you can again move everything. So I can, you can, you can move your uh, your your. Uh, that's the current price. You can actually see here also if you're in profit or at a loss. But you can move your stop loss higher, for example. Again, that would mean further into risk. I wouldn't recommend that, especially not when you are in the trade. There might be reasons you need to do that, but again, I would recommend you only do that when you know what you're doing and when you're uh, more experienced. So again, and remember, a stop loss is not weakness. It is discipline. So professionals know their exit points before they enter a trade, especially when it comes to futures. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's basically everything there is about setting a stop loss on Bybit uh, when using market orders on futures. Um, MCO has partnered with Bybit. If you want to support MCO and also benefit from all those tutorials and analysis we provide here, then you can register with Bybit using the link in the description. Um, right now, there's a 10% trading fee discount for the first 30 days for everybody who signs up through that link. Thanks so much. Make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye.